Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I am Miss Carly. I am Miss Yuyu. And we have our YouTube channel as well. It's called Spanish with Miss Carly. But right now, Out you're watching Outdoors with the Morgans. Outdoors with the Morgans. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a windy Wednesday evening here in Western Pennsylvania. Got home from work a little bit ago and I walked in the house and uh, Melissa says to me, did you buy a door for the cabin? I said, no. And she's like, why not? And I said, well, I looked at them the other day. They're a couple hundred bucks for like a steel door and I don't think it'd look real good on this. And I said, so I'm just gonna build one. And she's like, do you know how to make a door? And I was like, Psh, how hard can it be? You know, I actually never built one before, but we're gonna try that here this evening. I have some uh, leftover uh, three-quarter inch tongue and groove pine and I think I'll make it out of that. It should work out pretty well, I hope. We'll see. If not, I'll be back and buying a door, but we're going to give it a try. I figured when I was out here I'd do a little bit more staining. I just did the outsides of the steps and some posts. Uh, it is going to rain later on tonight, but with as much wind, uh, this stuff dries pretty quick. It should be okay. I wanted to at least get the outsides of the steps and like the band boards done. Uh, because sometime in the next day or two I'll be putting the railings up and it'll make it just a little bit easier I think so I got at least that much done and then uh, Melissa or Melissa and the girls will finish up underneath there a lot of people have been saying why do I don't use a roller and yeah a roller works good on the flat surfaces but there's so many nooks and crannies and things like that and I just brush seems to be okay for us as you know I always keep my eye on the weather but I've been paying particular attention to it because I have a bunch of vacation time and what I'm looking for is like three straight days with no rain if I could get that I'm just gonna take a whole week off that's the plan I've got so many little things around here that if I just had a couple days to work all day long and into the evening I could get a whole bunch of little stuff wrapped up and then move on to the next project but the weather just hasn't been cooperating uh, but sooner or later that's gonna happen and I can't wait till it does like this cabin the woodshed I got to get it stained I'm hoping to do that this weekend looks like Saturday the weather's decent it's gonna be in the 60s and then I can put the metal roof on that get this thing finished up and we got a whole bunch of other things planned uh, moving forward I just have to get some things done it's hard you know working during the day coming home in the evening and trying to get stuff done plus editing videos and believe me I'm not complaining at all I enjoy doing all of it it's just I never have like one or two full days to like just get something done never happens but uh, hopefully we will use up a little vacation time here soon and the weather will cooperate and we'll do just that this is just my uh, temporary door it actually worked really well this is just indoor outdoor carpeting I put a uh, furring strip on the inside across the top and down this side so when you go in you just kind of push it open but yeah it's time for a real door so I guess the uh, first step is to measure my rough opening it's 34 by should be 82 and a half yeah 34 by 82 and a half uh, yeah let's grab some wood we'll head over to the house and we'll get started here's one of those windows by the way Oh, 
I don't know if they put that in there intentionally or not, but that works good. That bracing in the back window and the one behind the front seats. All right, I think I got enough. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll be plenty. A couple of those are already stained on top, but that's okay. So you got uh, Melissa, grandson Ty. Hannah, what are you working on? Schoolwork. Schoolwork. And there's Piper. Huh. Melissa has no faith in me on building this door. I just never, I've not known you to build a door before. Well, there's always a time to start. What do you think, Ty? Ty, you think well, I can build a door? I take that back. You've made a couple of doors for like our attic entrance and stuff like that. They look nice, but they're not an all weather indoor outdoor door. It'll be fine. Alright, it is now uh, Thursday evening. I was working on this last night, Wednesday night, and I didn't really have a chance to talk a whole bunch about what I was doing because it was real windy, it was starting to rain, and I was just trying to get this, uh, this door here done. I didn't get it finished up last night, but we're almost there. Is she the best coach or what? She doesn't say much. No, but she'll like the sweat. Yeah. Look at her, she's just sitting there. So the uh, first part of this video was from last night, which was uh, Wednesday evening. It's now Thursday evening, and I didn't have a chance to uh, really talk much last night because it was getting real windy, the rain was coming in, and I was trying to get as much done on this uh, as I could. So I kind of want to go over a little bit about what I did so far. Now keep in mind, I am not a contractor or a carpenter, and this is my, I'm not a contractor either. 
but this is my first attempt at uh, building a door like this. And so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's gonna look great. Should work really well. By the way, I'm using a uh, countersink bit. Just makes for a nicer, nicer job. And then uh, these screws here, these are called grip right exterior screws these are only inch and a quarter uh, because I only have two pieces that are three quarter inches thick but I used a lot of these types of screws on the uh, woodshed down there and I really like them I do these are nice so all that I'm lacking are uh, two diagonal pieces I'll get those ripped down next a bunch more screws I'll kind of lightly sand it just to clean it up a little bit and stain it and uh, but when I built this what I did I left everything about an inch and a half longer than I needed and wider than what I needed and then I got all the boards screwed down and then I squared everything up and I ripped it with a uh, circular saw to the exact dimension that I needed that seemed to work out better I don't have a table saw uh, that would be nice but uh, it came out pretty good just using a circular saw and I don't know if you can see here you know these are two three-quarter inch pieces of pine right here looks nice and solid everything's good yeah I think it'll work out great now like I said I'll get it sanded up stained I got a little bit of hardware for it and uh, it'll make a nice door All right, got her all put together. Looks good. Next, we will uh, sand it a little bit, just kind of lightly sand it. You know, this thing isn't going in a kitchen or anything like that. And then we'll uh, stain it and see what it looks like. I got to get this uh, new sander kind of dusty before Melissa comes out. We'll see if she notices this is a new one or not. She don't miss much. I missed uh, one screw. The only thing I would have done different is uh, I would have made sure all these screws were countersunk enough. I left some of them sticking up a little. But besides that, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm going to sand just a little bit more on it. This is just 80 grit. I'm not looking for a super smooth finish or anything. Just cleaning it up a bit. Then we'll blow it off, put some stain on it, see what it looks like. Yeah, 
I know I need a bigger brush. What do you think? Wow, very nice. Oh, that looks really nice, Mike. Yeah. I'm pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah. It's not on the cabin yet, though. Maybe it's the wrong size or something. But yeah, that's true. I should just wait to. Have yeah, it looks nice. Product. It does look nice. I'm gonna finish staining it up here, and then uh, we'll just carry it in the garage like it is. Let it dry overnight. But uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm real happy with wow. it. Wow, yeah. So uh, Melissa has some big news. Big news? Pretty impressive. Tell my, my YouTube channel, Morgan's Off The Leash, hit 10,000 subscribers today. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, because it's been one month that I posted my first video. And you're just about ready to post another one right now. Yeah. Which will be posted before this video. So it what I'll will, do, I'll put right. that video up above if you want to check it out. Yeah, check it out. I think you'll really like it. Um, I'm baking something. So. Baking or cooking? Ba this is baking. I used the oven, <laughs> so I'm baking. You found it. I found the oven. Uh, well, good. Mike, did you go over the humor? What humor? With your subscribers that are coming to Morgan's Off the Leash? No. Oh, about that video the other day? Yeah, so we're just a fun family, and one of the things we can do, and I think we're good at, is laughing at ourselves yeah. and poking fun at one another. It's what we do. I'm sorry it's so backwards to a lot of people, but wow, I took a lot of heat. She did kind of a parody, well, impersonation of me, and it was hilarious. It was. It's, and yeah. Some but people didn't like it. Or they ooh, didn't not like it. A lot of people stuff. gave me some heat over it. Yeah. And then there's a few people kind of mean, but we just uh, we have all, fun. We all we say do. goodbye to them. <laughs> we just have fun and don't worry about that kind of stuff. You know, do what we do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm baking, so check it out. When did you get this? Oh, uh, I've had that for a while. No, you haven't. At least a couple hours. <laughs> Mike Morgan. That's pretty nice. You just got it today. Yeah, it. Uh, it's another one of those 20 volt. I had, I didn't, didn't come with a battery, but I have plenty of batteries. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, it works. And if it's, they're all interchangeable. Yep. Right? Works. Yeah. On all, everything. These Dewalt tools with the battery packs are nice. They are. Look at this piece of wood here. It's kind of all jacked up, but kind of looks nice for a rustic yeah. Yeah. type door. Way I see it. Oh yeah. I need a bigger brush. This is the first one I grabbed, and I know I have bigger ones. I'm like, ah, oh, this won't take long with this little brush. It's taking long. We have a bigger one, I think, if you want to grab. Yeah, this one's already dirty though. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to clean too. Yeah, it's coming along now. I won't bore them with uh, staining anymore, but I will essential. Re report back as soon as this door is done. Yeah, make sure it fits. Oh, you should get some of those um, hinges. That yeah, those are big like, black ones? Yeah. That's what I'm going to get. See that? We're on the same page, Melissa. <laughs> well, there you have it. That is uh, my first attempt at a rustic board and batten door. I think it looks really good. I'm happy with it. Hey, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm surprised. <laughs> like I said earlier, if you had a table saw, it would be a lot easier to do. Okay. But uh, I think the key to this was, like I said, build it bigger than what you want, then square it all up, you know, lay it out and trim it, and you have a perfect door. And uh, it worked out good. I tell you, yeah. it's heavier than I thought it would be. That pine's not real heavy. Yeah. They're just three quarter inch boards, but uh, there's a bunch of them on there. It's a nice door. Yeah, it looks good. Well, it's getting dark. You want to wrap this video up for me, Melissa?
yeah thanks so much for watching thanks so much for everyone that's sending in intros and outros those are going well please click the like button if you like these videos subscribe if you hit the little bell icon it'll give you notifications of when we publish a video and comment down below we'd love to hear from you and check out morgan's off the leash another shameless plug thanks everyone like mike says hold your phone this way not this way He's right in the middle of showing us how he's setting up that sawmill for some more red pine. Thanks for another great episode, Mike. Like, share, subscribe. And remember, have a day.